hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. This is the third video of this mini series that we have in exercise for colgadas. Yes, the link is over there if you want to see the other two that we had previously. Before going to the video, remember to subscribe, like if you're enjoying it, and share with your friends. Let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Let's show you the mm -hmm. exercise that we have for today. Front ocho, colgada to the side, feet together, back ocho, and we can repeat this one more time. This is a drill. You can do it many times to master the move. Front ocho, lifting of axis, back to axis, back ocho, and restart. Yes. So we are taking it again, like Miriam was saying, from the front ocho, and we are applying the same technique as in previous videos we've done, lifting her point A and point B. If you don't know what that means, of course, you can check the previous mm -hmm. videos, but we're going to repeat it a little bit. Now, front ocho, coming from any figure, we're going to take a front ocho. Now, close embrace and lift. This is the part that we are lifting. I'm using the palm of my hand under her shoulder blade and lifting her so she knows that she will not step down. So now from here, I will start sending her very gently to point A. Can you see that I'm going just a little bit? Once we have that, she understood. From here, I can keep compensating and expanding my right side and coming back to axis. Once she's in axis, then we can rotate and take a backward ocho. Let me say something else there. Point lifting, point A. We can expand. And now, make sure we are not doing this. Sorry, Miri, for this, but I will do this. Rotating Ooh. her when she's not in axis. That is wrong. Leaders, make sure she's back in axis, then rotate, and then we take the ocho. For the followers, don't go axis by yourself. Here we lift, we take a breath, we connect with the leader. When he start moving, then I can go off axis, back in axis, on feet together, and then I rotate to go back. Very common mistake from followers is from here, you know, or you guess it's a colgada and you go room by yourself. That would be tough and dangerous for the leader and for yourself. Mostly for the lower back of the leader. If you yeah. pull without knowing if you are in connection with the leader, that's not good. So the point where you should wait followers is, you know it's a colgada of axis move, but here in axis I go up, lifting, connect with the frame, with the embrace of the leader, then wait for the leader to initiate the of axis move, go back to axis, to do the next move. Leaders, make sure at this moment, ta -ta 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 -ta, we are with body weight on the left. I'm creating kind of a triangle with her foot. Now lifting. Here, don't transfer to your right, don't do this. And going, putting weight, sorry, <laughs> on your right leg. We're going to send her halfway a little bit and stay on your left as you can slide your right and come back. This is just an exercise. Of course, later we can slide more or less, but just for you to start feeling that. With the same technique, we are going to use it for rotating colgadas, linear or rotating to the other, the other direction. Very good. This is all for today. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>